today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. And don't mind me, I'm just healing up my tools in the old Enderman XP farm. But oh my gosh, guys, I have an amazing idea for this episode. So far in this world, we've built many cool nature builds, like this custom tree, and this giant farming area. So it's time for our next big nature build. We are gonna make a gigantic greenhouse, and within that greenhouse, we're gonna have a bee farm. But wait, there's more! We are gonna use that bee farm to make copious amounts of honey. Then we're gonna take that honey and make an amazing build using honey blocks. So yeah, there's a lot to do. Let's get started. The fun part about today is we're gonna be adventuring all over the Minecraft world to get different blocks. So our first stop is the forest to get a bunch of oak wood. Three stacks. I always forget to replant trees. I gotta keep doing this. Dude, I hate Endermen so much. Why do they do this? Now small pit stop down to the spruce tree farm. Uh oh, this is very empty. I thought I had more wood here. No matter, because I can make a mega spruce tree. And as I do this, if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe and hit the bell. Well, I got spruce wood now, but I used like all my bone meal. This is all I have left in my entire world. I need a skeleton farm really badly. Hey, random cave, can you give me a skeleton spawner, please? No, okay, oh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, it was worth a try. Well, I have a good chunk of blocks now, so I think I'm gonna start the outline of the build. So that being said, where are we gonna put this thing? I would say it probably needs to be near the farming area over this direction. Hmm, I think I have an idea. I'm thinking we continue expanding our little town and go down here to this flat land right over here. And then in the future, we can put more farms coming down this hillside right up to the greenhouse. All right, let's do it. So first off, we need to do quite a bit of terraforming. The greenhouse won't take up the entire area, but I want to make room for future projects too. Oh, look at this beautiful- Excuse me! I was talking about the beauty of this newfound land, but you guys! I swear my world is glitched. I see them like every other day. Would you just go away? Come on, shoot the banner guy. Kill him. Haha, <laughs> you guys stink. Well, let's get to building. Maybe the front door can be on this side over here. Throw down some cobblestone and push the walls this way. So here's the main door frame. Now back here, we're gonna start to, you know, kind of poof it out and make it look a lot bigger. So I'll go this way, then this way. Get away. Nope, I'm better than you. But how's that for a shape? It looks a little bit bland right now, but I promise you it's gonna look way better shortly. So why don't we start raising up the walls a little bit now? Oh! I told you I'm better than you. But don't you understand? Also, where did you come from? It's the middle of the day. Okay, it's getting there. But of course it needs a better roof. Well, any roof for that matter. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. Upside down stair raises up a couple of blocks and make a really tall roof. And look at that. I can really see the vision now. This thing's gonna be awesome. Now to the untrained eye, you might think this roof is amazing. But if you're a pro builder like me, you'll notice the roof is totally hollow. I need to fill this in. I'm sure no one noticed, right? Oh, pretty sunset. Sun, come back. But now it's time to go head out on our next adventure because I'm gonna need a lot of glass. We're gonna have the greenhouse roof be entirely glass made, which honestly is kind of scary to think about because it might look ugly, but I wanna try it. Because after all, it is a greenhouse, and those tend to have glass roofs, too. Do I have any sand? That's dirt. Do I have any sand? That's not a lot. Well, you know what that means. I'm bringing out the heavy-duty equipment. Not just one shulker box, but two shulker boxes. To the beach we go! Oh, look at it. It's glorious. So much sand. Is that a jungle? I didn't know that was there. But carrying on, sand! This is boring. I'm gonna need a break. But not just any break. Disco break! All right, back to work. So off I went, getting about two shulker boxes full of sand. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. To be honest, I don't think I needed that much sand, but who cares, I got extra. Back home we go. Trick shot. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, I missed it. <laughs> I'm terrible. There is nothing I love more than flying into the base from the water side. It looks so pretty over here. All right, it's smelting time. I need some coal. Hop into the... Zombie, go away. Hop into the furnace house and begin smelting away. Oh, what a beautiful sight. But also, I am like totally out of coal. I have to go mining very shortly. But forget about that. We have more important things to attend to right now. So I'm gonna need to get a lot of light gray dye. This is because
because I could just use plain glass here for the walls, but it might look a little bit too transparent. Like, I don't know about this. Yeah, I don't really like this that much. But if we use something like white or light gray dye, it'll still be transparent, but it'll also have a little bit of like some, you know, some color to it. So that being said, light gray dye, how do you make it? I'm pretty sure you need two white dyes, one black dye. Light gray is, yep, one gray, one white. So that equals two whites, one black. Do I have any squid ink? I don't. Oh, I'm so sorry, squids. Come on, show yourself. I'll do what I must. Aha! Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you doing here? <gasps> Were you an escapee from the wolf farm last episode? No escapees. None. <gasps> Another one! Oh, I have terrible security in there. Wah! Wah! Drop it! Nope, drop my ink sack. Hello there. Underwater ruin, is there a chest for me in here somewhere? Oh, there was. I'm at, ooh. Oh, and coal, I need coal. Impromptu treasure hunt, where are you? Oh, don't tell me. It brought me back to the old one. I've already been to this one. I'll take those, I guess, but that's dumb, dumb map. Well, back to killing squids. And that gives me a total of, oh, it's one for one. Okay, about a stack and a half of dye. That's fine, I think. How much do you get per? Oh, it's all, oh, that's a great deal. Okay, and that's perfectly fine. That is enough dye for me. But here comes the issue with the white dye. As I mentioned earlier, I don't have a lot of bone meal. I have 12 pieces left. Wonderful. But I do know of a place where I can get a lot of bones very easily. I'm just gonna need a gold helmet. And off we go to the Soul Sand Valley in the Nether. Wish me luck. Hello, you foul, foul place. Hello there, flying jellyfish. You're dead. Oh, what a shot. So I'm pretty sure out this direction, that's where the valley is. Maybe not. I see a lot of basalt. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. What about this way? Oh, hello. What are you? Gold block. Oh, it's a portal. That's pretty cool. I'll take that though. Anything in here? Any treasure? Any loot or something? No? Okay. Oh, we're here and look. Oh, not you. Look what's standing around. Bones. Would you knock it off, dude? I'm on fire. But check it out, these soul sand valleys have tons of fossils which I can convert back into bone meal. So yeah, I gotta come here more often, this place is epic. Oh, skeletons spawn here too, this is like a bone paradise. Not for you though, ha. Huh? Thank you, thank you. Ah! Didn't see that one coming. Oh, would you stop it? I hate these jellyfish. Oh, you're dead. Ha <laughs> ha. Just about one stack of bone blocks is fine for me. See you later, place. How do I get home? I'm kind of lost. Ha <laughs> ha. They don't call me Farsi the Navigator for nothing. Literally, no one has ever called me that. And let's see. Are the darlings done smelting? Door frame, you're so fat. How are we looking? Oh, we're all done. Delicious. Delicious content. And now I craft some bone meal, some white dye, some light gray dye, and finally a bunch of light gray stained glass. Oh, that's the stuff. And that being said, we can get back to building our epic greenhouse. So we're gonna simply take the glass and place the glass. It is quite simple. Oh yeah, that's so much better than clear glass. But now here comes the interesting part. We're gonna fill in the entire roof using this glass. As I said earlier, I'm a little bit nervous about this because I don't build roofs out of glass very often, but that being said, I'm up for the challenge. Let's just go for it. Wait, pause, hold on. I was walking by the wolf farm and I realized some of the sheep weren't being sheared up there. Mr. Blue and Mr. Cyan, what is up with you? Eat, man, eat the grass. Oh, there's no, <gasps> there's no shears in there. How about you? Oh, how did I make that mistake? Well, good thing I noticed that. Uh, hey guys, <laughs> funny seeing you here. <laughs> Squeeze out of that. <laughs> All right. You take some of those, you take some of those, and I'll go boom, I'll go boom, and you should be working properly now, right? All right, back to building. So on I went, filling the entire roof with glass, plus some wood details to mix it up. And boom, how sick does this thing look? For a start, it looks really good. I like this color of glass, I like the shape of the place, and inside it's huge. I didn't miss a piece, oh my gosh. I'm so bad at this game. But that being said, it is still a little bit bland to me, so I want to take out some fence gates. Where are they? And I kind of want to bring some like horizontal rows across like this. Oh yeah, I like that. In fact, I probably should do that up on the roof too a little bit. Oh my gosh, guys, I think this really did it. And the grand reveal. Oh yeah, the texture on that looks great. But you know what? There's one thing that's bugging me and that's the bottom here. It's very bland. So why don't I take out some stairs and just add in a little bit of texture? Yes, so much better already, but I think it's fair to say the exterior is just about done guys look there's gardeners in here. Look at them. They're growing flowers. You guys are so nice. Hey, it's hardcore. Please don't kill me. 
Thanks. And look, I even added a few flowers in for our own enjoyment. But now it is time to go on our next big adventure because we need to make the entire interior. There's nothing in here besides these skeleton flowers, stupid gardeners. But oh boy, I have many, many ideas. And a lot of those ideas are gonna stem from natural blocks we can find in the wild. So let's go. Uh, guys. I think I got too much sand. I'm just gonna admit that now. So first off, how much coarse dirt do we have? Not a lot. Because my plan was to make the entire floor inside of here kind of like this, where it's a mix of coarse and rooted dirt. Just a little bit of this and some of this. Well, as suspected, I need a lot more. I'm pretty sure I can craft it though, right? I think you use dirt and gravel to make it. Please, please, please. Oh yeah, I love crafting. But what I can't craft is rooted dirt. So we're going on an adventure. So I flew thousands of blocks to find my desired destination. How sick is this? A stone beach next to a jungle. This looks awesome. And here we are. Do you guys recognize this place? This right here is my raid farm that I made long ago. And right over there is a lush cave. This should be a ha ha rooted dirt all over the place. I'll take all of you. That is a hazard. Why'd I do that? Oh, I love this block so much. It might be my favorite nature block in the game. And that's saying a lot. There's a lot of nature blocks in Minecraft. And then... I almost died. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 oh! That was so scary. That was so scary. Quick, where are my sh where's my shulker boxes? I forgot my shulker boxes, which has my totems in it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, let's throw the old chest plate on to be safe. I came here to get some of these beautiful nature blocks. So I gotta be really, really careful now. I'm scared, I'm scared. Aha, oh -ho! Yeah. Parkour skills. Ah! I almost just jumped in lava. All right, I got my blossoms. I got my hangy things, AKA glow berries. Ooh, hanging roots. Can I grab these? Silk touch, Oh. Well, who cares? I'm out of here. Let's do this safely, shall we? And we are good. And you know what? While I'm here, is there any chance there's already totems in these chests down here from previous raids? Please, please, please. I'm actually terrified right now. Anything, no, no. <gasps> yes, put it in my offhand. All right, I feel safe again. And I'm taking two back with me, cause why not? Oh, well, I I also only have one firework. Great planning, Farzy. Haha, <laughs> I'm so smart. Well, I guess we're going back the old fashioned way. It's a long journey ahead of us. Let's get a move on. Wait, big brain alert. If I take some of you and I take some of, why are these things four tall? That is cursed, but take some of you. What? What kind of house is this? <laughs> Excuse me, any crafting benches around here? I go boom, I make paper, I use my gunpowder to then make fireworks because my brain is the size of a melon or something. How big are brains? Stop, stop, my brain's huge. Stop it, stop it, my brain's huge. I'm so tempted, uh, I can't, uh, uh, must steal wheat. Okay, bye. Home sweet home. And back to work we go. So first off, let's finish off the floor entirely. It looks great. I love this look. Now here comes the interesting part. Now we're gonna actually put some flowers, leaves, and all kinds of nature block. Hold that thought. What I was saying is we're gonna take all different kinds of nature blocks and put it inside of the greenhouse, all over the walls and whatnot, and on the floor and on the ceiling. Well, where do we even begin? I don't know. Let's just guess and figure it out along the way. So I placed almost every nature block I could possibly think of and it came out awesome. All right, who's ready to see Farzee's nature wonderland? And ta-da! Look at this beautiful greenhouse interior. I think it came out so good. All different colors, all different shapes and sizes. It just looks chaotic, which I love. And most importantly, the roof actually has details too. I was kind of afraid of how I'm gonna decorate up there, but it actually came out sick with all the vines and the leaves and the glow berries. So yeah, I am so proud of it. That being said, over here is totally Totally empty because earlier I mentioned I wanted to make a bee farm today so I'm gonna try to put it right here in this corner now to be honest I haven't made a bee farm ever in my life so this may end up being terrible but it'll be a fun challenge so why not let's go for it well one thing's for sure I'm gonna need bees nests for this farm so do I have any no ah, I got one but I am certainly gonna need more than that so let's see are there any over there oh I see bees hello where's your home oh it's right there perfect I'll take that why aren't you mad at me. Wouldn't you be mad at me for that? In fact, I want bees. Bees, get in here. G get in this nest. Get in. Come on. No. Ah. Because here's the thing. I don't just want the nest. I also want the bees too. So I need to hopefully transport these guys. Cow, get out of my farm. Okay, I have an idea. I am pretty sure there's bees nests on this tree. Is it empty? It's empty. I will take you. I'll replace that later on. Now bees, get inside of it. Oh, why is it covered in honey? Which one is the right one? Oh, it's that one. Come on, you know you want it. It's right here. 
Aha! Now nah, you're mine. But I still need more. Ooh, I didn't know there were bees in there. Yes! I knew there'd be a beehive here. <gasps> Another one! Yes! And there we go. What does that mean? What achievement? Move a bee nest with three bees inside using silk touch. Cool. All right, we're good to go. Oh, from far away, that looks so sick. All right, well, now we need some redstone tings. So do I have any redstone in here? No. How about in here? A little bit. And make some dispensers. So here's how we're gonna do things. We are to enter our luxurious and amazing greenhouse. Hop over on this corner over here. We are to place all the beehives here and take any honey that's in these out of them, even though they all have no honey except for you. Poof, sweet, epic, amazing. Now take out my dispensers and throw these right on the back and now on top put down my observers ah i want to put some blocks here but cobble's kind of ugly with the rest of the build what can i use moss maybe would moss look good heck yeah i'm down with that bunch of redstone here and finally i just gotta make a bunch of shears to actually put in the dispenser so i'll take some iron oh they're all coming out that's awesome now let's sneak in the back here and load these babies up with shears and that should be totally good it should completely work now or not are you guys Okay, and now we wait. Oh, I can breed you guys too. Make baby bees. <gasps> It works. It just worked. Awesome. It automatically sheared the honeycomb out. They're not mad at me. And it's there. 360 no scope. Oh, I'm so happy it works. Well, now we have a new issue. Right now, we have no way to collect the honeycombs automatically. So I gotta go make some sort of redstone contraption to do that. I am going to need rails and lots of them. I'm also totally out of redstone. That's awkward. One moment. Just one moment. A very small, short moment. All right, let's get to it. Oh, hello. Okay, I probably want to get rid of these leaves out actually, just so they don't get in the way. And now I'm gonna go underneath the ground really fast, pop and cover it up. So the idea is to put down rails to auto collect all the stuff above. Powered rail, rail, something like this. And now double chest goes right here. Popper is feeding into that chest. And last but not least, the final set of rails go right here and that should be a fully working system. Shall we give it a try? Minecart, do your thing. Go, 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 yeah. All right, is it working? It's picking up the rails. <laughs> hey, look at that, it's working. It is absolutely working. It's picking up all the honeycombs and it's putting them down there. Stop doing this, stupid rails. Well, that right there is a success. Now I just gotta dig out of here and make a way to collect this stuff from the outside, ha <laughs> ha. And that, folks, is how you do it. Easy way to get my honeycomb. Dirt, stop going in there, dude. I hate when it does that. Oh, this build couldn't have turned out any better. It looks beautiful. It works properly. That's kind of ugly because it's gray, but maybe I could do something like that. In fact, I might just raise this entire thing up and just make it look like a giant garden up here. Oh, guys, I can do no wrong today. It looks amazing. And it fits right in with the whole place. Oh, <laughs> life sure is sweet. Now, I did say I wanted to use that honey to make an amazing new build, right? But I gotta let the farm run for a little bit longer because right now I'm not really getting too much. So in the meantime, I have duties to attend to. Last episode, I said if the video got 2,000 likes, I would go to the nether and start attacking pigmen with no totem of undying. And you guys were so close, I'm just gonna count it. So we gotta gear up. Okay, I got my tools, I got my weapons, I got my armor, I got my golden apples, some blocks to play with, and of course, I gotta get rid of this stupid totem and I will put you in here. Oh boy, we are exposed, we are naked right now. That sounds strange. I didn't mean it like that. Also, a friendly reminder, this is hardcore. So if I die, I lose all my progress in this world forever. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. All right, we're here. And hello, friends. Hello, brethren. Tag, you're it. Hey, guys. Hey, come fight me. Tag, you're it now. Oh, oh, oh. Why am I doing this to myself? There's no reason for this. There are so many easier challenges than this. <laughs> all right, let's get to killing them. See ya. Ooh. Gotta keep moving, don't stop unless I'm gonna shoot them. So far, so good. They're not really being too intimidating yet. Except for you, big jellyfish. I have never seen so many at once. I gotta start killing these guys faster. Oh, zombie, what are you doing here? And we're getting to the end of the train and all this free gold that I needed so badly. Well, that was fun. Oh, hey there, buddy. But that being said, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will explode 700 pieces of TNT. That's gonna be... A lot of gunpowder. I didn't forget about you. I'll be taking this back. Ah, safety. And shall we see how much honey we have? Two stacks. And now I craft those into honeycombs and I get 30 blocks. Yeah, that's not a lot, but I can make do with it for now. And are you guys ready for the amazing honey build that I teased earlier? We are gonna make a bee cave in the side of this mountain here. Because right now, all the bees in this world are in this greenhouse. And I wanna have some still flying around the place, you know, that are free. So I'm gonna make them a home. Right 
right here. So the idea is gonna be to make a little bit of like a cavern shape. Is that who I think it is? Hey buddy, what you got for me? You have nothing I care about. Oh, he despawned. So back to the honeycomb cave. We're gonna have the walls and the ceiling lined with this honeycomb block. I think the floor can still be like coarse dirt and rooted dirt just cause it kind of looks, you know, more natural that way. And now we start lining the back with this honeycomb block. It's gonna need something else though. I'm gonna try some gold. No, not gold blocks, but raw gold blocks, or rather block of raw gold, whatever Minecraft. And maybe some glowstone. Ooh, shroom light? Nah, let's do glowstone. How does that look? Oh, that blends in nicely. That looks really good. Then the glowstone. Oh, it's all coming together now. Ah, uh, I mean, it looks good, but it still needs a lot more honey to, you know, come over the top and kind of make it look more like a cave and less like a wall. For example, I want to have honeycomb kind of like cascading down kind of like this with the dirt. So long story short, I can't do that all today, unfortunately, because of time constraints. But there is something else I can do. Off camera, I managed to go get some more beehives, which are in somewhere. Where are they? Right there. And now check this out. Campfires in some little corners in here and put beehives down. That way the neighborhood bees have a place to live besides in the greenhouse. So my plan is to use both the bee cave and the greenhouse for different purposes. That's going to be used for getting honeycombs and this can be used for getting bottles of honey. Oh, hello, Mr. Bee. Wait, where are you going? Come back, dude. I just made this place for you. What the heck? But when the bees do stick around, we can get these amazing honey blocks and stick, whoops, and stick these up on the walls of the bee cave. So I can put it like up there, for example, and boom. Hey, you're back. What's up? Deposit more honey. I want more of those. They look so good. I'll be back to work on you later, but now I have something better in mind, which involves the pathway going down to the greenhouse. As you can kind of see here, I have like an outline already. So I'm going to see if I could just like maybe dig in here a little bit and make this a little bit more smooth. Well, you know what? It certainly could be worse. It looks okay. It does the trick. Maybe I'll fix it up a little bit another time, but I think it looks good enough for now. I do think some moss along the sides will help a lot though. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a million times better now. And maybe over here, I sculpt a little pathway to get to our little bee cave. Also looks amazing, but I'm gonna end it here. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, Goodbye.